So, welcome back. We are at week four already. As in all the other weeks, I went through the English syntax differences. Uh, always, you always need to keep that. The one thing that's most important is question always at the end. Okay. So then I gave you the vocab, so I'm going to go through that now. So the colour, blue. Two fingers on the hand here. It's like trying to find the vein, like a doctor would. So blue. The sign for do and work, or do and make, rather, is the same thing. So do or make. The internet. Middle fingers, join them together. Push them slightly at an angle and draw the world. Internet. Text is very straightforward. Text me. Okay. So text. The world is two signs. So you can either do it world. Or the way I was taught was to use two W's for world. Either will do. Sign for church is church. That's a church building. If you want to talk about the church with the capital C, which is the people of the church, you church and people, okay? Church. If you want to say a sentence like throughout the world, you can simply do it like this. World throughout. Going throughout. And you'll see this sign in different contexts used quite a lot. The sign for witness is witness, okay? The sign for see is see. The sign for look, two fingers, is look. The sign for research or look into, two fingers and you go research. It's like, you know, those long trays that you pull out at a library where you go looking for something. So it's research. Book, everybody guessed that. Bible is simply the flat hand with a cross on it. So the Bible. The sign for a funeral. Two fingers and you simply go away from you. So it's funeral. Sign for friend, you might see it done two slightly different ways. Interlocking hands like this. Friend. Or you may see it done like friend. That's like the cartoon version that you see sometimes on logos. Friend. Family. Family. It's like, it's like an F from the alphabet round. Family. Mother. Two M's. Mother. Father. Two F's. Father. Brother. Nice and loose. The hands are nice and loose. Brother. Not like this, that's slightly different. Brother. Sister with a, a like a, a, a hook finger, sister. To build. Now this is where you have to be careful with making signs, make sure that they are clear. The sign for build, and the next one on the list is news, which is the same sign, but just tilted like this. So build and news. Other, other, middle finger, other. So work and wood, again, are very similar. I think we've done this in a previous class. Work or wood. The sea that you drive a boat on or you float a boat on is just simply drawing the sea. So you draw the sea. Sign for boat is my boat was on the sea. Okay, sign for boat, very simple. The sign for rain is rain. Uh, the sign for sun is sun. Sun. Be careful with that one, sun. Because in, in the Catholic world, there is sun, there is the grace of God, and there is sacrament. One's up here for sun, one comes down for grace, and one comes down and touches the head for sacrament. Hot, hot, 
cold. Bit of a face, that's cold. Improving like this, and it goes up the hand and up the middle finger. So, improving. My signing, improving. Easy sentence. Thing, thing. I think I might have done this before in a previous class. Thing, something. Sorry, something. All right, I'll come back to some time in a minute. Uh, there's an odd one that I only have seen in Manchester, and it's over there, over there, over there, over there. Very odd. Not seen it anywhere else. Thirsty and dry are the same sign. Thirsty. Or dry. Dead. Dead. Sign for kill and cruel are the same sign. Kill or cruel. In the Catholic world, a Catholic martyr is someone who's had their head chopped off, literally. But not like this. Not like this. It's using the back of the hand this way. Martyr. Some, sometimes, sometimes. That's what you'll see on the list. So some, sometimes, or sometimes. Now this one is a slightly older version, but you will still uh, see it being used. Time, very easy. Birthday. It's like, you know, when we pull a child's hair for the number of years. Birthday. Christmas, big beard. Two signs for Easter. You can either see Easter on the back of the hand, a little cross, Easter, or Easter, middle fingers, Easter. Okay. Bless and bless, two different ones. If you're going to bless God, you two, two thumbs up and it's bless upwards. If I want to bless you, it's like this, bless. So bless you. Strong. That's easy. Ill and sick, same sign. Ill or sick. The sign for an interpreter. Two fingers, interpreter. All right. Another is another and again. Copy and example. Flat hand, copy or an example. So you can copy me, you can make a copy of, of this list, you know, so example or copy. All right, so that was the vocab done. And um, we went then through um, a number of phrases, which I'm going to leave you to do that yourself. There are nine phrases. But what I want you to do then is to, for homework for next week, is to come up with eight phrases of your own. And what I want you to do is to practice them. They only need to be short, like the ones on the list. Practice them using the vocab that you now have. You've got quite a bit of vocabulary going on here. Um, practice them and next week I'm going to pair you up and you will, uh, you'll sign to each other and the problem is that the person who is watching or reading back they're going to have to voice over what they think is being signed so the person who is signing they now become the teacher so you might have to uh, repeat things that's say things again, or you might have to go slowly. But um, the person who is signing, they need to uh, they need to make sure that the other person um, understands what they are, what you signed. Okay. So that's it for now. Um, the notes will be below, and I will see you for week five next Wednesday evening. Keep practicing.